I got me a package. I had ordered the Hungry Boys sauces, also known as the Boys Hot Sauces. I had purchased these about a month ago, and I guess I was getting a little impatient because after about maybe like a week or two of waiting for these, I started emailing saying like, okay, what's happening? Why is it taking so long? Why have I not got any updates? Why is it still just sitting there? And I never got a response. So I was kind of getting a little annoyed, but then finally, it said that it was on its way and it finally got here today i wanted to review it and see how it would be i got me a few chicken tendies to go ahead and try the sauces with and i also got me a dp which i will probably need another one i keep getting told that they're very good some of these are not really like chicken sauces from what i've seen from other reviews like from the boys but i think that they're going to be good i think they're all going to be good on the chicken so let's go ahead and take a look my grandmother said whenever she was getting the package for me that it seemed like things were loose, but I'm not sure. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's been so long. Thank you for supporting Hungry Boy. We can't wait for you to try our new hot sauces. Love the boys. Scan the QR code to access a little spinny wheel for you to play with. We were too lazy to think of any rules, so you can make up your own game. Heck yeah. You guys want to do the spinny wheel? You go right ahead. It doesn't bother me. This is probably one of the coolest YouTuber merch <laughs> purchases I have ever made. It's a little boy's trinket. It, it's a pain in the ass to open up. <laughs> I'm like, where do you open it? Oh, that is so cool. Oh, dude, look at that. It's so shiny. I was afraid that I wasn't going to get that because as soon as I ordered this, it said all of it was out of stock. So I was like, uh... Uh oh. I can't be ooing and aahing at the pin. We are here for the hot sauces. Let's go ahead and pull them out. Oh my god. So that that pin was probably what I was getting told was rolling around in here. So that that would make more sense. But I'm glad that they ship pretty well. Oh, I, I hope they ship pretty well because one of the hot sauce bottles, I could smell it. Ooh. Okay, we have five hot sauces right here. Now we're going to take a look at all of them. I'm gonna start from where my left is over to my right. So first one we have here is Eddie sauce, the Mexorcist. That looks awesome. And it looks very deadly in there. Tomatillos, chiles, and smoked paprika. That is, that is crazy. Yeah, it's going to be very hot. Dude, it, it looks evil in that <laughs> bottle. Oh my God. It looks evil as hell. Maybe I need to shake it up a little bit, but yeah, we'll go ahead and put that one over here. This one is called Gut Grenade. I believe this is Juicy's? Green Serrano peppers, garlic, and onions. So the Mexorcist is five out of five. That's three out of five. Taste Bud Trauma. It was either Josh's or Mully's or something. I, I can't remember. I'm probably getting like everybody's names wrong for like who made these sauces. I do know the Mexorcist was Eddie though. Sweet Sting, definitely narrators. I think I'm gonna love this one. It's not too spicy, so you could definitely tell it's a narrator sauce. This one has honey, garlic, and crushed red peppers. Oh, and the Taste Bud Trauma has jalapenos, red habaneros, and garlic. Oh yeah, Butt Bubbler was Mully's. That's right. So this one should be Josh's. This is Eddie's. This is Juicy's. And this one is Narrator's. Okay. Let's see, which one am I going to start with first? Am I going to go with the very hot one or am I going to go with the not so hot one? Let's go with the not so hot one. And this is one that I think I'm going to get very addicted to. And this one will probably keep me wanting to get more of the boys' sauces. Oh, I'm going to get addicted to this sauce for sure. Dab a little bit on here. Boys, if you're watching this video, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, God, dude. It smells like something that I would get from like Panda or something. Mm. I didn't put a lot, but oh my god, if I put too much more, I'm gonna eat this whole bottle tonight. And I don't want to do that. Sorry guys, I'm gonna get to the other ones, but oh my god. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 10 out of 10 sauce narrator. Oh, that is so good. The butt bubbler is the next one up. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and do the butt bubbler. Fire roasted tomatoes, onions, jalapeno. Oh yeah. Oh, that, that smells awesome, dude. Mm. Ooh, had a little bit of a kick. 
It kind of tasted like that it was really going to burn you, but then it just settled real fast. This one, I probably wouldn't use on chicken again. I could probably, well, I don't have any chips. I guess I have crackers. I'll try it on a cracker. Oh, yeah, let's try it on a cracker. On a rich cracker, it's kind of hard to really have kind of that stuff on a rich cracker. Mmm, there was that kick again. Molly, you have a very interesting sauce. However, I will say it's still not as good as narrators. Like, I'm sorry, like, narrators, I'm in heaven. Uh, yours, I'm gonna give an 8 out of 10. I think it is really good. All right, so the next three that we have, they are all hot. Oh, the Mexorcist is actually the fourth hottest one, so Taste Bud Trauma is supposed to be the hottest. But we'll see about that. Okay, this is gonna bug the shit out of me. I know that I'm getting all these names wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah, Juicy's is the hottest one. Yeah, because he's a Florida man. He's a fucking maniac. You know what? I started opening this by mistake. Let's just go ahead and do Taste Bud Trauma. Let's just go straight up for it. Oh, burn my nose hairs out. God damn, Juicy. Yeah, you definitely like the hot stuff. Woo, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Very liquidy. All right. Bottoms up. Oh, I'm sorry, boys. If it's by Florida man, we gotta go crazy with it. Just, just dump that shit on there. Oh my God, that's hot. Real quick, tongue side. Mmm, that is a powerful sauce. It's not as hot as like, okay, I have this other sauce and it's got a shit ton of capsaicin crystals in it. I love it, but my gut doesn't. Florida man, Florida man, he lives in his van. Mmm! Ow! Got a leg cramp! Ah! Juicy! Your hot ass sauce gave me a leg cramp, man! What the f did you put in here? Juicy, I will have to give your sauce an 8 out of 10. Actually, Juicy, I will have to give your sauce a 9 out of 10. However, it did cause me to go a little crazy and get a leg cramp, so I'm gonna have to take you down a half a point. And, I am going to take two Whoopi Goldbergs away from you. They are mine now. Next one, we're going to do the Mexorcist. This one looked evil as shit, and it's just under that one. I love hot sauces. Like I said, this one over here, oh my god. But these are very tolerable. Ah, uh, god damn it. Oh my god, Eddie's sauce was the hardest one to get open out of all of them. All right, the Mexicus tomatillos, chilies, and smoked paprika. It's also covered in juicy sauce. Ooh, wow. Didn't Eddie say that his mom helped inspire him to make this? We have the chicken test, and then we're going to do the cracker test. All right, I'll eat it like the boys do again. Mmm. 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 Narrator, you're in trouble, man. Because Eddie sauce? Wow. Gotta do the cracker test. I can still say that, right? I'm not gonna get banned anywhere. That is just so thick. It's less menacing looking out of the bottle, but it still looked like a monster. Mmm, Mr. Saucedo, that is beautiful. That was just a damn good sauce. I could definitely see being good on tacos. And because of that, I want Mexican food now. Eddie, I will give you an eight and a half out of 10. Actually, no. Yes. Eight and a half out of 10 because I don't have tacos ready at all times. Sorry. And last but not least, Mr. Dub, don't think I forgot about you. We got the gut grenade. Let's see if it's actually as hot as what it claims to be. Mmm. That is a very interesting smell. I don't hate it, but I don't know if I like it. Maybe I just have poor taste. Another very liquidy sauce. Mmm, the smell deceived me. It tastes way better than it smells. Josh, because I like you so much, I'm gonna give your sauce the rest of the chicken. Dump it on there, just like Juicy's. Oh shit, mmm. Ah, 
That's an interesting flavor. Your sauce is a lot higher than what I would expect. Because I think your sauce would go good with like smoking meat. I'm gonna give your sauce an eight and a half out of 10. And then just because you are so unique with it, I'll give you another half point, why not? Molly, I, I'm gonna take back your score. I'm gonna take back all the scores of the boys. They all did 10 out of 10. To be honest with you, like they're all freaking good. I may be biased with the boys, but I will say, they make good shit. I appreciate them making a really good sauce because I've been wanting hot sauces for so goddamn long. Now I actually have them. And from a group of people that I really enjoy and really respect. So thank you. Thank you, boys. Narrator. Thank you the most. Because now I'm going to have to purchase more of your sauce. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching me eat some crackers and chicken and eat some hot sauces. Y'all have a good night.